So thank you today for joining us for Crafting Beautiful Proposals. That sizzle with Dell Tech Vision and Adobe InDesign. Today, Graham Gardner is going to present on the topic. Um, and just to give a little bit of a history about Graham, when Graham uh, joined our firm or before he joined our firm, uh, one of the things that, um, that we did a part of the process in hiring him was asking him a question on how to create a peanut butter and a jelly sandwich. And one of the things that impressed us so much about Graham was his ability to be able to use graphics and be able to illustrate a way to be able to let people know about information uh, in a way that was done in a graphical uh, format. And so it's very fitting today that Graham is going to be um, discussing today Adobe InDesign and specifically how to make proposals a little bit more sizzling and also to make graphics a little bit more appealing. And so, Graham, I would like to turn it over to you and have you present. Well, thank you. My name is Graham Gardner. And just to give you a little more background on me, I have a background doing proposals in the A&E space for a civil firm, about 50 people. And we had a wastewater and transportation department. So I'm very familiar with the day-to-day -day need for getting proposals out and, and getting your image known by clients. Uh, I'm a huge believer in graphics, as Sarah said. I love conveying an image through graphics, uh, get an idea out there. And I, I really think you can you're, dig your teeth into it when you're able to graphically convey an emotion. So today, we're going to talk about how to get information out of Dell Tech Vision and into Adobe InDesign. And well, we've all been there before, and it's usually about 4.30 on a Thursday afternoon, and one of your principals come to you, and they need your help getting a proposal out to the most important client ever for the best project ever, and oh yeah, you need to do the best proposal ever. You need to blow the client's socks off, you need to really impress them, and it's due tomorrow morning at 8.30. Yeah. So what are the benefits of setting up merge templates in Adobe InDesign? Well, you can create beautiful proposals with Sizzle and ensure that you always have the most up-to-date, accurate information. We all know that every time you do a proposal, you copy a lot of the same information, and some things change here or there. Well, that's the problem. The more you copy and copy, you're not really sure what exactly changed, what you updated for this proposal's exact needs versus that one. You have a pretty good idea, but if you were to get hit by a bus tomorrow, would the person takes over for you? No. Probably not. So when you get stuff set up in merge templates, you're keeping all of your information in one spot. And you're able to easily export it out into Adobe InDesign. And you get to take out all the boilerplate information, the need to create that every time by opening up a document, copy and pasting it into the new document. You already have all that stuff there. So it's just it's a beautiful process. What are the requirements to do this? Well, you need to be running Adobe InDesign CS 5.5 or newer. Yes, the cloud version does work. It needs to be installed on your local user directory. That means it needs to be installed on your computer, not on the server. You need to be running Dell Tech Vision 7.1 or newer with TDM enabled. So exactly what information can be exported out of, in, of Vision to InDesign? Well, pretty much anything. You can do resumes, cover letters, references, project cut sheets. Heck, you could even do your presentation. Let's say your proposal is accepted and you make it onto the short list and you need to do a presentation. Well, you can do that through this same method. This presentation right here was created in, in, in design. So let's say I had wanted a bunch of information that was in our vision system to go into this. I easily could have exported this into this presentation. And that there saves you a bunch of time. Well, what's the difference of using InDesign versus Word? Most of you are probably familiar that you can already export information out of Vision into Word. And Word is great for its uses, but Word is made for Word. InDesign is made for words, beautiful graphics, being able to go to the pr print with multiple options. It's just a different ballgame when you're talking in design. But with that said, sometimes a, a proposal doesn't need all of the glam that comes with InDesign. Sometimes you just need a simple proposal. It's not graphic intensive, and you just need to get it out the door. In that case, if Word's the best option, then go with Word. The name of the game is winning work, not using the most up-to-date, greatest software. If you can win work you know, using a pad and paper and pen, then hey, more power to you. 
InDesign is made for different, engaging, beautiful text. Oddly enough, even though Word is made for Word, it, it rasterizes not only graphics when you pull them in, but it sadly distorts text. You don't get all of the great uh, options that you get on in InDesign with your text in Word, sadly. InDesign, when you make a change in InDesign, that is what it is. What you see is what you get, WYSIWYG. That's a common term that's been thrown around there. Well, sadly enough, I'm sure everyone on this call has been there where you're trying to make a change in Word, and whether it be changing something in a title or adding some kind of formatting, and it messes something up somewhere else on another page. That does not happen with InDesign. Things live in their own element, and they can be all updated at once, or you can update something individually without any problems. And as I mentioned, when you bring graphics into Word, sadly, they are rasterized. You lose quality out of uh, your graphics when you pull them into Word. Be, be your pro professional printer's best friend. Provide them with graphics that sizzle. You pay so much money to get photographers onto your job sites. And when you actually do get a photo that is worth showing off, because we all know they're rare in our industry to actually be able to get a photo that really speaks to the clients, well, you want to make sure you get the most out of that photo. So how does this all work? Through the process of setting up these merge templates, you're able to export out information into beautiful proposals that speak to your clients. This enables you to spend time working on the actual information that's going to win you the project. All the information in your proposal is important, but some of it's more important than other. And you need to spend time making sure that you separate your firm from the competition. So next time one of these principals come to you last minute and they need you to get information together for a client, let them know it's not a problem. Because you're going to go back to your desk, pull Dell Tech Vision, pull out your easy button, press it, and bam, you've got a beautiful proposal ready to go. And now you can concentrate on knocking the science clocks knocking the science the client's socks off. That's a tongue twister. And provide them with a proposal that really speaks to them. Don't worry about just getting all the requirements of the proposal. That, that's the easy part. Think about how you can separate yourself from the competition. And once you get that answer, let us know, because that's a hard one. So let's actually dive into how to do this. That's kind of a more big picture overview.